I'm here at Ahok Hawk Hokkien Mee today, back in good old Chom Chom Food Centre, in search of the best Hokkien Mee in Singapore. And today we are here for their fried Hokkien Mee. Last week we had the young Xiao Ti cook us a plate of Hokkien Mee. This week the hawker is nearly three times his age. He is not only in his 70s, he is also basically Hokkien Mee royalty. Allegedly, this hawker's dad and uncles are the creators, the inventors of Hokkien Mee. Back when it was first cooked along Rocher Road, you want authentic, you want traditional. I cannot imagine being any more authentic or traditional than this. Let's get it, boys. Uh, one hour, okay. Uh, one hour. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 As with most stalls in Chom Chom, this opens in the night. And I'm here on a weekend 5.36. The store supposedly opens at 5.30 and the wait time is one hour. <laughs> How is it possible? So while I wait, you guys can, I don't know, click the subscribe button. <laughs> Didn't take one hour. 6.23 is what? Oh, almost uh, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Anyway, we are dealing with our first dry version, I think of the series. You can see like they, they cut it just as the new noodles are being saturated. The noodles are still sticky with broth but there's no excess gravy. Was Hokkien Mee originally supposed to be wet or dry? Who knows? Who knows? We are also dealing with our first bihun version. Anyway. Uh oh uh oh we start with the hits very strong egg flavor it almost reminds me like a like an egg fried noodles dish really nice and second hit is texturally very enjoyable i think i'm a very big fan of adding bihun into hokkien mee on top of that literally they also chop in little bits of prawns which is i think a way more practical way to eat prawn than to use your hand and eat the whole prawn chili is also very nice Again, another quality chili. Very likely that it's in-house made, but I think I think I'm about to say something blasphemous. This tastes least like a Hokkien Mee out of all the plates that we had so far. It actually tastes like the Malay version of a Mee Goreng that you get at a Chinese Zi Cha store. This one. I'm getting very, very little seafood flavor. Oh, and there wasn't lie. The eggy flavor is very strong, but without the two pillars of Hokkien Mee, the seafood flavor and the lard flavor, can it really be considered Hokkien Mee? Now, normally I'll be okay with making this critic, but we are dealing with Hokkien Mee royalty today. I must be wrong, right? And the next miss is a dry version, which is fine. But what's the point of going to a dry version? is so that you can get that light, almost every flavor of a fried noodles. That's why it's dry. But this is somewhere in between. The noodles is starchy, still sticky. That's the texture. But it doesn't have the impact of a wet version because there is lesser broth in the noodles. Not even talking about the quality of the broth yet. This plate got me messed up. What even is Hokkien Mee anymore? This is not my idea of Hokkien Mee. Not really the version that I know at least. And surely I must be wrong, right? Surely. What do I know? Don't get me wrong, it's still a great plate of noodles. But this is really like an eggy fried bihun that I normally cook for myself at home. Normally if there's some leftover bihun, right, from I don't know where, right, I'll just add a few more eggs, right, and fry it. And it tastes kind of like this. Like there's this very strong eggy flavor. Those of you who make egg fried rice or egg fried noodles at home, or even add it, fried egg into leftovers you would know is that taste but with little seafood flavor and no lard it's not my hokkien mee one noodle i'll walk for the hokkien mee two noodles i'll take a bus for the hokkien mee and three noodles i'll go anywhere in singapore for the hokkien mee and a hot fried hokkien mee is one noodle still a nice bit of hokkien mee i finished everything it's not like it's bad or anything, but my idea of a Hokkien Mee is challenged. Have I been living a lie? <laughs> but even if it's a lie, it is a lie that I want to continue living in. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have for you guys this time. See you all in the next video. Bye. Hey, I have two-piece chicken. Is it gravy or what? Uh, yeah, other stuff. Yeah.
Uh, job, job, yeah. Thank you. So yeah, I scooted over to Ao Bao Chicken to get a two piece and <sighs> I always knew that there will be a day, one day where I'll come back to a place I love, but the quality isn't quite the same. After all, you either close when you're zero or stay open long enough for others to tell you your standard drop already. But it's not this day. It is not this day, boys. Uncle still got it. Even in this terrible lighting, you can see the juiciness of the breast meat reflecting off the street lights. And yeah, I'm having my second dinner here because I literally couldn't find a seat in Chom Chom at peak dinner time. Oh, I saw that the uncle is now playing my video at his storefront. So, back when I thought my views were increasing, it's actually all him. Uncle actually accounted for half my ad sense that month. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you all next week.